Right, um, so we are going to have a series of uh, little uh, talks, uh, but it's all based around on a, this particular topic of uh, vaccination, titer testing, or just not bother. So uh, without further ado, let's continue. And if there's any comments, please do comment below um, and we'll be happy to answer any questions. So just a little bit of myself, a, I have qualified from the Royal Vet College in London in 2004 and I've, I've got a sort of certificate in small animal medicine. Um, interest includes uh, acupuncture, exotics and keyhole surgery. Um, but, you know, I am a vet, but more than that, I'm also a pet owner, a husband, a father, a salsa dancer, a roller skater, water polo player and recently a copyista. So I'm just wanted to say that you know just uh, just we are not just vets and um, the so-called member of publics or non-vets. Uh, we are also pet owners. Okay, today we are going to discuss a few different things. Vaccination. So there are a few different topics that we're going to cover in this series. So the, we're answering questions like uh, what is immunity, what is vaccination, uh, why do we vaccinate, how often should we vaccinate which is a very good question. Uh, vaccination concern. So let's discuss about immunity. So what is immunity? What does it mean? Um, immunity is the ability of an individual to resist infection or the action of certain toxins. Okay. Um, there are different types of immunity. It can be classified into three different types, like inherited, where you get it in your genes from your parents. Um, or it can be acquired naturally, how you know kids they are told to, um, if they are eating dirt in the sandpit, you know, they can acquire that along the way. Or if they are exposed to sort of uh, viruses and bacteria with their friends, and but they don't actually catch the disease themselves, they are also acquiring a bit of immun uh, immunity naturally. And they are also uh, to be acquired artificially. That's why we talk about vaccinations, actually injecting something into the individual to uh, induce immunity. So what is vaccination? It's artificially stimulated immunity. So the keyword being artificially stimulated. So it is artificial. It is not natural. It is actually something that we stimulate into the animal. And these are the different things that we can um, stimulate immunity for, like viruses, uh, bacteria, uh, protozoa, um, certain worms, um, toxoids, and uh, even cancer. So the question of uh, why should we vaccinate? Why vaccinate? Because the diseases that we are vaccinated against, they could be life-threatening, okay, which means that sometimes there actually isn't a cure. It is just a prevention is the best uh, treatment for that particular condition. Either that or it can actually cause significant illness. So it's not just like getting a common cold, it's like vaccinating against, you know, in humans, against sort of uh, smallpox and um, uh, all the different sort of diseases. In dogs, we're talking about distemper, power virus, they're all they can all cause quite significant illnesses. In this case, as prevention is better than treatment, or sometimes there actually is no uh, treatment at all, and uh, certainly it's more cost effective. Vaccinations may also protect both the individual and the population. So that's one thing that sometimes we forget is that the reason that we vaccinate is not just for the particular individual animal, we're talking about herd health as well. The population of the animals in UK or even uh, as, a, as a further extension of the world. Uh, for example, it's like in UK, there is uh, actually no more rabies. So we don't really vaccinate against rabies. And most kennels and catheteries, they do insist on animals being up to date with vaccinations prior to entering, which is quite important if you think of 